All right, so uh, in response to the Scott Crafter hammer challenge, I uh, decided to take a look at the hammers I've got, and these two ball peens I've had for as long as I can remember. Um, they're not as long as, uh, as the ones everyone seems to be coming up with. This one's handle is a foot, just shy of a foot. And this one is about 10 and 3 quarters, or just shy of 11. So, uh, if I really want a shorty, I uh, have my old Harbor Freight Special Central Forge. You know, back when they were still okay. <laughs> I don't like the newer one. It's crappier. But that handle's only 5 inches long. So, they sell shorties. Super shorties. And uh, they have a nice grip on this one. This is an older one from Harbor Freight. But, as far as hammers with a short handle go, I made a hammer for some purpose years ago. I don't actually even remember why I originally made it. But, I used what I had, which was a sledgehammer head and a hockey stick. So, I had a, a piece of a hockey stick anyway. <laughs> and this hockey stick has been the handle on this for years, more years than I remember. The, uh, the sledgehammer head says, warranted. 84-6 and uh, there you go and one time I thought it would be fun to stamp it uh, with a punch so uh, the, the Y is and the T is a little bit mashed from age from side blows but uh, Baby Thor is what I named it now I was not enough of a uh, superhero nerd to know that uh, the hammer wasn't called Thor. But, but that's what I marked it as. And uh, I have swung this hammer more times than I, I probably care to remember um, breaking landscaping stones. But uh, it is about eight and a quarter. And if you discount the, the knob at the end that's left over from when it was a hockey stick. It's about seven inches of useful length, you know, to put your hand in front of the knob. So this qualifies, I think, as a short handle hammer. And uh, I'll just clean it up, and uh, this will be my entry. So I don't have the uh, the benefit of uh, a lot of time to do one proper like everyone else, but um, I think this will have to suffice. All right, you tell me what you guys think of it in the comments. So those of you uh, tool restorers out there who do a lot of wire brushing, do you ever turn your wire brush uh, over so that you see how the wires are all kind of starting to bend that way from it rotating like this? I feel like after a while the wires are um, not doing as good a job as I would expect them to. This has been wire brushed. But uh, still, you can tell there's still some rust. It's cleaner, definitely. Got a little shine to it. But it's definitely not taking off the rust as, as well as I would expect. So I'm going to turn this around and then uh, re wire brush that area and we'll see how much better it looks. Okay? So I've been wire brushing with the wire wheel now that it's been turned around and I got a little carried away um, as far as uh, you know, that was already been wire brushed and uh, so I was almost done and I thought oh okay I better show the difference so you can see here the Thor and the Y is now wire brushed with the wire wheel having been turned around so it's uh, hitting with much more aggressive angle. And then the BAB, you can see, that's all the better the wire brush would do um, before I turned it around. Now, 
you know, it's probably been, oh, two years since I flipped it. So I didn't realize how bad it had gotten until uh, till I flipped it around and see that. So, yeah, if you do a lot of wire brushing, uh, take a look at your wires. If they're all bent one way, flip it over and uh, it'll be like a whole new wire brush. All right, so maybe I'm getting a little carried away. It's 11.30, and uh, I'm having a hard time deciding. Regal red or sunburst yellow? Hmm. We shall see. All right, I finally finished it. I uh, didn't really like the idea of uh, copying the Regal Red. Uh, no matter how nice it looks, I felt like a copycat uh, since that's Scout Crafters thing. So I decided to uh, add just a little bit of red to the Sunburst Yellow to make it more of a gold. And I rewrapped my handle with some fresh uh, black electrical tape. So it's Steeler colors, go Steelers. Uh, it's black and gold. And uh, you can see I re refixed the, uh, the Y and the T a bit to make it stand out better. Baby Thor. And uh, it's an eight inch handle. And I didn't make this hammer for this challenge. This is a hammer I've had. And uh, you know, Scott Crafter just made uh, his video saying how you don't want to use the a hammer too small for uh, for a job where you have to whale on it too long, you'll break the handle. So there you go. This is all the weight you're going to need for a small job. So I'll leave you with a shot of the uh, the beautiful foliage here in uh, Northeast Ohio, which uh, probably won't last long since we've got uh, cold weather coming.